In the first nugget in this series, we talked about using an agent to synchronize your on-premise Active Directory users and groups with, that's right, your Azure Active Directory. And we talked about using the Azure AD Connect agent, which we looked at in the last nugget. Well, now it's time to look at its new little brother, the Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. And we're going to take a look at how that works. We're going to install it. And with no further ado, let's get started. All right, here we are in our Azure portal. I'm going to go to Azure Active Directory. I'm going to go down here to Azure AD Connect. And then here under Provision from Active Directory, we have Azure AD Cloud Sync. So we have our sync status down here for our standard Azure AD Connect, and that's enabled, we're connected. But to set up our Azure AD Cloud Sync, we would click on this here. We go in here. Now, the question is, uh, why do we need two cloud syncs? Are they the same? Are they different? The answer is they're different. The traditional AD Connect agent has been around for a long time. So it was time for something new. And there's two options we have here, right? Our Azure AD Connect and our Cloud Sync. So Cloud Sync allows you to install it on multiple AD joined on-premise servers for redundancy. So redundancy is always good. So that's a good thing, right? Absolutely. And Cloud Sync is the best option for when you're dealing with mergers and acquisitions. So when you don't have somebody on-premise who can really go through and configure these things for you, what you can do is go through and install a Cloud Sync agent. Now this works differently. Remember, we just went through in the last nugget our Azure AD Connect install, and there's a lot of steps in there, right? Absolutely. Well, with this, you just install your agent, so anybody could do that, and then we set up configurations within Azure AD and tie them to that agent. So that's pretty darn cool. We manage everything right here from within Azure AD Cloud Sync. Uh, portal here. So we don't have to do that locally. So if you don't have on-site IT staff, you just need to get somebody to install the Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync provisioning agent setup here. And it's very darn simple. So the way this works, you go in here, you click download agent. I've already done that. Now we're going to install that agent. So I'm going to say run as administrator. We're going to go through and do this install. Say, I agree. Yes. And install. It's going to go through and set it up. It's going through a provisioning agent. Now we say next, connect uh, to Azure. So we're going to say, yes, use this. I enter my password, sign in, use my multi-factor authentication. Go ahead and approve that. There we go. And give it a second here. And there we go. So we've authenticated. Now it's going to take us here to uh, select a group manage service account to manage your synchronization. So we're going to say create one for us. We provide our domain credentials. There we go. Excellent. Select the domain. We're going to do this one right there. Say next and confirm. And now it's going to go ahead and set it up. Now we did have to provide Azure AD credentials and local domain admin credentials, which you have to because you need to provide the Azure AD credentials so it can go out and figure out where to register because otherwise it doesn't know what a tenant, what account and subscription is going to be a part of. This is how we do that. And of course, it needs local uh, domain admin creds so it can connect to the local Active Directory, create its service account and function. <laughs> so once it does this install, we're going to go through and create some settings and apply it to it here in the Cloud Sync portal. And right now it's restarting the agent. It'll take a couple of minutes. All right, the service has restarted and it says down here, your agent installation and configuration is complete. Please complete all your provisioning configurations using the Azure AD portal. And that's what we're about to do. So we're gonna say exit. All right, here we are in the Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. Now, uh, what we could do is go to Review All Agents. We click on that button, and there is our Nugget Labs DC2 where we just installed it. It shows active. Let's go back to the Cloud Sync. Now we're going to create a new configuration. We're going to check which domain we want, and of course it's our nuggetlabs.local, and we could enable password hash sync right there. So we'll go ahead and do that. And basically we're going to say Create, and it's going to create... Uh, our configuration where we can put our settings in. 
And right here it says uh, next step. So after it creates this, it's going to take us to a configuration details page. All right, here it took us to the edit cloud sync configuration. So as we scroll down here, let's do this. We got scope. Uh, we have nuggetladders.local, all users in scope. But we could click this to only select specific uh, security groups or OUs as we see here. So we're going to do all groups. And you're going to see many of these settings are the same as they were when we set up our original Azure AD Connect uh, client. So then we have manage attributes. So we can do some attribute mapping. You can click on that to do so. And we're going to use a default. So we're not going to go through and do any mapping, but you could if you wanted to. So let's go back to the cloud sync configuration. All right. Then next up is validate where we can go and provision a user and test our uh, connection settings. Then settings, you could put in notification email if you want to be notified of incidents that are going on or happening. All right, prevent accidental deletion. You can click that and set a threshold. Now what that does is, uh, since we can make changes, especially up here when we're doing our scope, if we deselect a specific OU or maybe an entire domain accidentally, what this does is if it's going to delete more than, in this instance, 500 accounts, it's going to stop. It's not going to delete it, and it's going to send you notifications. So you would want to change this to whatever you feel necessary to prevent accidental deletion. And then lastly, deploy. Enabling this will sync the users and the groups that are in the scope. So if we click Enable, it's then going to go ahead and send this configuration out to our DC2 over here where we installed our Cloud Sync agent. So we would click Enable, and then it's going to go ahead and we'd say Save, and it's going to, yes, go ahead and save that. It's going to go ahead and do the Cloud Sync, and that's all there is to it with Cloud Sync. So I hope this has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing.